Thanks for joining us. Thank you. How are you liking Australia so far? You've been here for a few days. What's it? Uh, it's been good. Yeah. It's been good. Uh, we've uh, got a, a great hotel uh, with a great view, so we're enjoying a lot of, uh, of Perth. It's great. How is it to, to have the girls on tour? Uh, obviously, uh, for a manager, it's ideal to have the team uh, for so long uh, all together. It allows us to work uh, on field, but also out, out of the field and work on cohesion and, and, and game plan, so it's great. We've heard a lot about your style and you want to play exciting football. How is that coming on the pitch? It's coming slowly because it takes time, but uh, we're working on the, on the patterns and on the, the style, like you said, that we want to put um, input on the team. Um, we're not, not there yet, but progressively coming and, and the girls, uh, the players are understanding what we want and it's going to get better with time. I saw as well one of the things is trying to, you know, not let them to just go through the motions, you know, like we're not just playing out, we're trying to actually get that pass and, and make some progress up the field. How are you finding the girls um, adapting to that freedom? Because a lot of coaches, you know, it, it is that set play, you're doing this. Um, it's definitely new to them, so um, they're excited to have all that freedom. Now we have to like canalize all that freedom and make sure that um, it goes well with the, with the game project and the game principles that are offensive like you said and for us it has to be a show it's a game that has to be a show to attract as many people as we can so um, it has to be um, uh, fun to watch. Initial thoughts on Courtney Nevin she's obviously a big star here with the Matildas in Australian football. Yes it's great to have uh, those kind of, of players in, in your team she's definitely a, a great asset for the team and we are very happy to, to have her with us. And then the last two seasons, they've come 10th. Um, how do you see this playing out? I know obviously it's your first season and you had to build in France with your last team, but how do you see this playing out in the next season? Well, it's hard to anticipate and, and know what's going to happen, but for us, um, the idea is to, is to go up the tables. Uh, how far, I can't tell you yet, but uh, over above the 8th, the 10th position, obviously. Uh, and then as the season goes on, we'll see what we can achieve best. And then I saw as well, you said at previous clubs, obviously, you haven't been had the freedom to just coach. You've had to, you know, do every other hat as well, wear all those. How nice is it? How refreshing is it to be able to have that in a job? Uh, it's new, so uh, same for me. I have to adapt. Uh, I have much more free time or time to think about tactics, so that is really great. And having all this support uh, staff for me is, um, I'm, I'm really getting used to it and I, and I like it. Moving forward, that's going to be the norm. You know, coaches are going to have that freedom, hopefully, especially when yeah. you think it does for the game. Hopefully, uh, we're going to have more of that. Obviously, the women's game is also progressing, uh, has been progressing slowly for me, but we're getting there and uh, having um, uh, more staff and uh, better uh, facilities for the player and overall package for the, the, the players and the team is much better and getting closer to the men's one, not the salaries, but the <laughs> conditions are getting there. So um, this will obviously, I think, get the game better. If we improve all the rest that's around the game, then the game will be of better quality and hopefully we get more uh, public and people watching uh, the game. Final question, I just wanted to say, were you a goalkeeper? Is that what you were? Were you a goalkeeper? What were you? I have done both. I was a goalkeeper and then a midfielder, which is completely different. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, I've, wow. I've done both positions. So maybe when I used to play with boys, uh, I was the only girl, so they told me go in the goal, you know, like this. And after when I started playing in England, um, they put me as a midfielder. Yeah, wow, that's a huge transition. Big transition. Now Nowadays, I would be too small to be a goalkeeper. Can you see any of your goalkeepers coming into the midfield anytime soon? Uh, no, they're not ready technically yet. Huh? Oh, this is an attack. The goalkeeper is next to me. Maybe for a part of the game, but I think that they're not used to run so much, the goalkeepers. And midfield is a lot of running. But uh, yeah, why not at some point? Huh? On Wednesday night, you guys are facing Man City, the runners-up of last season. How do you think you guys are going to fare against them? Well, we're expecting a, a good game, high, high level game uh, of two very good teams. Uh, we're happy to to have uh, this kind of opponent at this stage and, and we'll be uh, ready to, to fight for the, for the win. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.